Hello and welcome back to another episode of Confessions of a Gaming Girl podcast. I'm your host, Jean Cutie, and we have a very, very hungry audience today, ladies. I can see them all. They've been waiting a little while. <laughs> Six think, minutes are killing them. I, you know what? I think Daylight Savings has just ruined mm -hmm. everyone. Um, it's certainly caught us off guard because we have, obviously, Ellie. She's in melbourne i um, am <laughs> and then shane she's in uh, uh queensland we, we don't have your stupid time wizardry we, we have one time and it saves <laughs> that time no. and it's not confusing that way <laughs> i don't no, like the wizardry i we don't in, in wa we don't change our times either oh, okay. um no so, but we're still a different time um to queensland so you're acceptable I, because you, you're like, honestly, you're the way over there. And like, I'm not going to lie, it is a little bit far. So I can understand wow. why there might be a little bit of a different time. Oh, wow. okay. I've flown right. to WA. It was, it was nearly as long as flying to Japan. And it's the yes. same continent. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Sorry, well, I'm passionate about don't... this topic. <laughs> Thank you. I, I am too, especially when it comes to conventions and having to fly oh. to places and how long it takes. And, you know, it takes three hours to fly to Bali and, you know, I can I can literally be Why in a are you here with a mojito <laughs> in three in, in the time it takes to fly to Melbourne. Like You're flying saying. the wrong way to the convention. Oh, yeah. Go get the mojito, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> We're voting for all gaming conventions to be held in Bali. Or Can like, stream it? that'd be so nice. Yeah, I, just I some magical oasis. Yeah, it's got something for everyone. I don't like the sun or summer or water or the sand, uh, but I like animals and food, and they have both of those things. So, oh, and alcohol. There you go. I've got so my three things. Air, air conditioning. We'll 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 see I'll take some, some animals, shade, some forest. Like it's okay. Yeah. I'm willing to compromise to pat many different animals that I'm not allowed to pat in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> lovely <laughs> all right um i did defer from our usual uh intro but um ellie how have you been how's your week been what have you been playing love well i've been um actually home alone for the past several days um my the girl my dinner every partner. night I know. well girl <laughs> dinner what, what would be the girl dinner version of going to my parents for dinner every night <laughs> that's valid I yeah, think that's I've valid been, yeah I've been sneaking across there with um the tiny bestie it's a bit hard to juggle my work keeping people alive and um you know eating and so I've just been just been doing that actually and it's been strange because the vibe in your house like changes when you've when somebody leaves and I have like multiple creatures to keep alive. And I don't know, I feel like I'm playing my own sim. Like, I don't know. It's like that those games that you play when something's on fire. So you have to deal with that, but then like a pipe's burst, so you have to go and deal with that. Like <laughs> I'm playing like my that, own sim. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm touching grass, but also I'm, I, I'm scared. <laughs> well, it's entirely grass can be scary. Grass you. is itchy. So like, I don't understand grass this obsession so with touching it. I want to know who started yeah. that. Like, I know it originated mm. from like an insult, like you know, chronically online, like just go and touch yeah. grass. But I would just <laughs> love to know because I'm sure I'm sure it's recent. I'm sure that it's only been within the past like two years that someone said that, and no, it just went. I think it's a little viral. bit longer now, like a good five. Really? Years. Yeah. Okay, five yep. years. That sounds really yep. like pre-pandemic. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I thought it was a post-pandemic yeah. thing, which, no. depending on your state, has been over for two to three years. So, mm. yeah, yeah. It was it was John Deere. He wanted to sell more um, lawnmowers. <laughs> I was going to say uh, we've got a comment in the chat there saying Big Grass started it. They wanted to up their sales. Is that like a joke on <laughs> Big Farmer or is Big Grass? <laughs> big Grass. <a> <laughs> big Farmer. <laughs> yeah. Big, big Farmer is American though, isn't it? Or is it the yeah. world's pharmaceutical company? I don't know. Oh, I think it's more of an American thing. I thought it was American. It's sort of like yeah. caught on everywhere because everyone's yeah. like, oh, a bit dodgy that, you know, you're charging people lots of money to stay alive. Consider Are you getting people you advertise? Advertise to make money? Oh, my can, goodness. Can we buy into this? <laughs> can we like, get a slide? <laughs> I've, I've looked at being a test subject. It's cool. I got you. Don't worry about it. I don't think I'm healthy enough. Speaking of Shay being healthy, how have you been? 
uh, unhealthy. Week. And what have you been, have you been playing anything? How's stream going? Oh, stream is going awesome. Um, yeah, people continue to um, arrive, talk, and stay on purpose. Um, and oh. I, I'm not holding them there by any like forcible means. So really, they're just making these poor decisions on their own. And I, it's, I'm skeptical. It's, yeah, I thought, yeah, same. Mm. I'm thinking maybe someone's paying them, but that's that's fine. And you should probably up their salaries because, dear God, I've been, <laughs> whoa, I've been a little little mental wreck this They're week. They're suffering in the chat. In yeah, Shay but they keep Smith. saying nice things, okay? They Aww. keep saying, Shay, you're an inspo. Shay, we love coming it here. Shay, fine. you're so welcoming. And I'm like, good. All right, that's fine. I really don't have a comeback for that one. That was very nice. Thank you. So there you go. That's what I've been doing this week. I've just been people saying nice things to me while I'm just doing a little cheeky menti bee, and it's um it's confusing. Yep. Yes, but also, I've been playing I... some Stardew. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I keep seeing what's his name, the coffee guy with the glasses. Oh, Harvey. He just, he, yeah, Harvey. Yeah, gosh, He's a like, little bit of a a crush now. Um, oh, crush. you can like we can yeah. do a multiplayer, and you can. You can court the oh, gentleman. He likes I'd, coffee, I'd, just in case you needed really to know. Does. And he he'll follow coffee. you around if you give him coffee. It's um, true. He does like the coffee. Mm. Yeah, I don't actually started on uh, video game crushes because they, they have an Astarian. Long. They have an Astarian um, Animal Crossing. Uh, not Animal Crossing. But Stardew oh, the Valley. Mod. Yeah, the mod. yeah, yeah. I saw that and I was oh, like, my... oh, yo, somebody's passionate. <laughs> I like it. Passionate. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know pixels could be so sexy. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I upgraded mine. I switched out the uh, the concerned ape art for like my more refined anime art. Not like that. Get your mind out the gutter, Doom. I know exactly where you went immediately. I, I'm watching well, you. It I was completely tame anime I mean, art. There were no. There's no plot involved. Thank you. Look, um, I've heard from enough. Uh, anime fans and them telling me how much it's art like titties are great but i don't know you if... gotta know where to put the shine it's important <sighs> anyway it's anyway anyway so yeah i switched <laughs> out the arts my art's way cuter now um and um yeah leah is best girl she lives by the river hangs out in the forest and paints shit i love that i, I love know, a natural like, queen vibes. She comes out, she's got like this pretty red flowy hair and like, like little braid thing and she's like, oh hi! And it's like, <laughs> she's so happy. I love you. <laughs> I I had I had that moment with um, the herbology professor in Hogwarts Legacy. Hey. Um, the red head. She mm. was I mean, mm. I'd she's play a whole pretty. video game of of that. A little bit of a far a herbology simulator. You, you know, know, I'm here I, for the class, ma'am, at all times. It's totally. fine. I've got yeah. you. Venomous tentacula, come at mm. me. I've never learned anything so thoroughly. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, speaking of being thorough, um, your girl, oh, yeah. Doom Cutie, we, we put up some lights. Um, oh. I'm, I'm very excited. You can't see the actual one behind me, though. And we had a discussion, um, Ellie and I, and um, I was look, say, I've got, what's I've got this the pink business? one. Oh. You see the pink? Anyway, I think it should go oh, that way. It should go like along that wall, I think. But um, yes, mm. I have. Oh, I'll make a cloud affair. I have. Yes, I have. I have e. I have e girl girlified my background. So oh my god! I'm very yeah. happy. With okay, that. so I wanted to ask you two about this, right? Because you're you're ladies. Did you were I you aware so. you're in fact women? I it's wild. Mm. I know we don't like to really alarm people with this knowledge. It's scary. So There's that's what that re bleeding is, Shay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um Thanks. it's not mm. mandatory. Mm. Not all women have to suffer through it. I'm really jealous of the ones who don't. Um mm. but it's anyway. <sighs> yeah. It's like yes. Yeah. Your question? My question. What keyboards do you use? Because mm. I'm looking at my station, right? And I love my station. Mm. It's functional. Love it. But you can see I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of high contrast colors. I'm very functional. I want my space to be a little cuter, right? And currently I'm rocking an MSI gaming keyboard. It's lovely. It's fine. But it does need to replace. Okay. I'm not going to lie. The w WASD keys are probably suffering. What do I get? I'm not well, a keyboard expert. I want well, to I have. This is. This is. Look, That's cute. <laughs> This is cute. This is the um, Rog Azoth. Shout out to MSI. No, no. Yeah. Uh, oh, 
who am I? Republic of Gamers, sorry. Um, Republic, Republic of Gamers. Uh, they sent this to me actually a little while ago. Uh, I think just after PAX last year. Um, and yeah, this is fantastic. It's very sturdy um, mm. and it's small, small like me. Oh, it doesn't have um, a numpad. Oh. No, no, it doesn't have a numpad. See, I desperately need a numpad for the program. I want a numpad. I use. Yeah. Okay, then you should. Oh, okay, then I know, you need the full isn't size. It? Yeah, what I would recommend yeah. is a one of these. Look at Cloud. Oh, I've what always wanted one of them. I need one Log of those. Logitech Cloud Wrist Rest. Mm. Oh, this will theme. cutify mm. any cutify. space, doll. Well, I've got like a lovely desk mat that's just full of these very cute frogs giving each other's flowers, and I think that is a oh, one's one's in a one's in a blankie doing like a little frog burrito. That's adorable. We love it. But then I've yeah, I've got this list black and red. It matches. Yes, you can see the theme, but it's just it's very boring, you know. Ellie, yeah. what are you rocking? Have you gone really um, functional or are you cute? Ah, uh, oh, yeah, probably teetering to one side. She's got a Windows I... keyboard. She doesn't. You she doesn't. She doesn't game <laughs> on like her she computer. Has a no. So, so yeah, I Came did the PC. <laughs> a couple years ago. I did a seven-hour Fortnite stream for breast cancer awareness, um, and I ended up raising over two thousand dollars. And it was during like the month of May, which is you know your game on their game on day. Um, and I was the highest uh, a fundraiser. And so I got set up with a couple neat gifts, which was really, really cool. And I had this, I don't know, again, Shay, I'm the same. I don't really know keyboards. I don't know the lingo. But I had this really small black one that I really, really liked. But they kind of sent me like the gamer pink. So I got, what did I get? I got the uh, Republic of Gamers mouse, keyboard, and um, desk mat. Mm. And so I like it because it's rainbow Aww. but that's where it starts and ends for me because I think that my keycaps are almost a fraction too tall so oh. when I'm typing I trip like my fingers almost like stumble like they're athletes they stumble <laughs> and I make typos more often than not nine times out of ten when I'm typing I'm making typos because mm. it's either too yeah is it too deep to click down are they too tall I'm not too sure yeah, um, maybe they come to too much of a point and they're too separate as a result because that can happen yeah yeah so whether or not I need to deal with the the clicky part underneath and get it better um mm. I also do have a um like a, a, a pre-built type that you know you get the keyboard and then you get the keys and you get the caps and all of that sort of thing. I've seen that it. I, I went to look into it and then there's all this different language and lingo and I was like, bah, 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 yeah. bah, 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 bah. no, just give me the give me buttery. Board yeah. with oh, so much. You have, have to like, you have like red caps, brown caps. Oh, yeah. Like the, if you go on TikTok, you've got the cr the creamy. The creamy is my favorite. I heard there's one that's hairy. I don't. I, it's, it wasn't red. Yeah. I was really confused. No, nah, there's so much lingo with it. And so – um. I probably am not the right person to ask because I'm the same. I, I don't really understand, but I wouldn't know if I felt it. And yeah. I'm the same with you. I like the the finger number pad, the num lock thing. I like that because mm -hmm. I go I, like a yeah. I go. I feel like when I'm doing my stupid little tax stuff that I don't think about until I have to, but also. Yeah. It, I have programs that use it, like literally 3D modeling mm. programs. You can't operate the shortcuts properly without the bloody numpad. So it's well, like, you can, mm. I mean, if look, you could sacrifice, okay, you could get a cute keyboard and then you could get a separate numpad. Mm. That is, yeah, that that's is also possible. True. Or the, the ones that are mm. angled like that. Yeah. And they're, they're like more like org ergonomic. Oh, like, the, so yeah. I can look like a weird organ player. Like the little but, you're, <laughs> but if you're programming and you're not on stream, like it doesn't. Oh, I'm not programming. Mm, or, or, or whatever or, or, or whatever it is that you're doing um mm. and you're using the numpad you wouldn't necessarily use that all the time mm. in stream. i see where you're going i see where you're going yeah I, i'll Look. think about it i'll think about it okay but i'm hearing well, gamer republic a lot and i'm, I'm curious now <laughs> and i saw a cloud yeah, thingy republic, and that's cute too this i do like my mouse cool. from them so mm. okay i have i do i have the logitech super light 
um, oh. which I got the white one and you have to clean it quite a lot, but oh, that's okay. Yeah. I don't mind cleaning. Like um, finger grease. Well, not grease, like the natural oils from our Yeah, just natural oils from your skin. Doesn't matter how much um, you wash your hands, it's like a natural thing. It's the same yeah. as Xbox white controllers. They, they always got quite like mucky. I'm not yes. game to have any white stuff. Like my computer no. tower at the moment is black and white with every single colour on the inside. Um, I will not touch it except to turn it on because <laughs> I'm just scared. Eventually it'll go gross and I don't need that in my life. Mm. Ooh, we, don't, we don't need any scrubs in our life. That's what I'm it hearing. Is true. I think um. there's actually a song about that. <laughs> Jenny from the block. <laughs> Shit, is it? No, I don't it's know. not. I'm just no, adding to the J Lo. No, no slander. scrubs. TLC. Yep. I was going to say, I've, I've heard some uh, interesting J Lo things recently. So, like, yeah, that was. There's some slander going around that girly. Mm. Mm. Anywho, speaking of slander, what's what's been on everyone's minds uh, in the gaming world uh, recently? What What's some hot news that everyone's been uh, uh, finding themselves interested in? Um, Oh, yeah. Uh, I've in. just been doing some um, looking into actually that Cure Cancer. They teamed up with Xbox uh, and they've created some artistic Xboxes that actually show this. Like, let me see if I can get this correct. So the studies has happened and there has been information now that their cellular structure, the architecture of the cells can now be seen. And when they're communicating to other cells and when treatment isn't reacting the first time. And so what this means is they're essentially like looking at the secret cells and being like, oh, we now can then go on to doing more cancery discovery stuff. So that's my science brain. And they teamed up with <laughs> Xbox and they have created three beautiful custom Xboxes and they're essentially just like artwork that you could put in your living room and just be beautifully aesthetically pleasing. Uh, and it's pictures that are of the actual cellular structure and they just, it looks oh. absolutely stunning. Um and that to me is crazy. Yeah. And uh, they're I'm auctioned wrong. off. So they're getting auctioned <laughs> off from now until April 30. So they, they certainly are. Um, and I was I trying think I'm gonna to put a bit in. I nice. I I actually adore these. So these are actually microscopic um images taken with a very powerful um microscope. And um I am absolutely obsessed. With how One of them looks like Starry they... Night as well. So it's really cool Where? about how, like, nature takes on, you know, art. So I'm oh, color me impressed. Yeah. I'm very, color very cool. me impressed. And the um, fact that Shapes also have a collab with Xbox. Because Xbox are forever the boss of art and color and collabs, in my opinion. Like, there's just no comparison when it comes to Nintendo. Oh, no. No, no comparison because Nintendo don't really do collabs and same with PlayStation. So Xbox just blow it out of the water of like beauty. Yeah, they have had so many amazing collaborations in the past, um, you know, with uh, First Nations, uh, people who are in the art community, with uh, Barbie. Um, yes, and, yeah, Barbie. it's just, I don't know, it's kind of, I kind of feel sad when I see limited edition things and like, you know, when when things are, you know, they're not for sale. But yes. in this case, like this, I don't know, this is this is an auction for charity. So um so yeah, I I'm I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um I'm trying like, to see. Me, um, we'll it's you. giving me Sims vibes, like Sims 4 when you zoom in really far with uh, your microscope and you take a picture in like the science career and oh then you God. get the printout of the picture. Give me those vibes. I'm down with it. Oh, that one that we saw on the left is the one there that kind of looks like Starry Night to me, yeah. which is... It's just, re it's just really cool and I just think I wrote an article for Quest Daily on it and I basically put in there like you could have this in your room as like an art piece. Like it just looks like a gorgeous big cylinder, not cylinder, yeah. like cube, a cube cylinder uh, of art and that's so cool. It doesn't have to be, you know, a geeky gaming toy. 
not that Xbox yeah. is, but I'm saying people in the outside world would see a mm. console and be like, oh, whereas I see a console, I'm like, <laughs> yes. But this is <laughs> artistic. And I don't know, I yeah. just find it really, really cool. And the fact that it's directly contributing to beating, you know, the disease that affects so many people, like one in two people get that, get cancer throughout their life. So mm. it's awesome. Um, no, that's not awesome. But I mean, it's also, yeah, I was going to say, it, mm, it's a fantastic okay. cause to contribute to for sure. Yes. Um, I, I've just had a look at the, um, the auction for these, cause these are being auctioned off, obviously, all money going towards, uh, cure cancer and the bidding ends in 20 days. And yeah. I'll tell you what they're up to. So that Xbox on the left, that has seven bids and the highest is 655 Australian dollars. Stunning. And then the console in the middle is up to it's got four bids 810 australian dollars mm, and then pretty. the red one has 10 bids 720 australian dollars so so yeah it's um we obviously still have 20 days to go so it'll be interesting to see um you know what <laughs> what what the end for those bids are but um very exciting Surely over a brand I would Surely. think people are holding their bids until much yeah. closer to the end time just so they can oh, see, yeah. like, you know, how like high slash low they can get it. Like, it's a common practice on eBay. Um, yes. So I think people are really mm -hmm. holding their bids. Mm, definitely. And with 20 days to go, who knows? Mm. Um, but there's, there's no way to. I'd be assaulted there, Shay. You just you pulled out a thing. second different cat. Oh, yeah. my goodness. I love um, it. Many apologies for the distraction. I've got my door open tonight, um, and I've got some. Mm. I got some little furry coag members. So there you go. <laughs> I, mean, I do not have a secret third kitten, so don't worry about it. Well, I thought yeah, maybe. To, yeah, to be fair, yours are quiet, right? You guys have heard mine. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure poor Doom here has had to probably edit out some fucking angry cat noises because <laughs> I dared to have the door shut. Um, yeah. Oh, it's. It's totally fine. A gamer girl and her cat is a sacred bond. Cats. Who am I to get in between that? Um, for sure. Um, I will. I will actually put the link here, and I'll put it in the chat for uh, anyone who. Where are we pasting? For anyone who would is interested in um, taking a look at the Xboxes and um, mm. just seeing if uh, maybe they'd. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're in. Uh, maybe they have more money in their in their checking account than I do. Uh, <laughs> well, to to help raise money share. for cancer. Well, we'll put in uh, two hundred yes. bucks and we'll do a timeshare. <laughs> hey. Yes. A time well, yeah. timeshare Xbox. Love we, that. We've got a uh, we've got a question in the chat that I was thinking like tee hee hee too, but then I thought about it right. So dolphin, the classic classic water dwelling mammal, has asked. So when are we getting a collab, Xbox collab? And I was like, teehee, Xbox wouldn't collab with us. We're weenie Australian weenies, right? But, 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 you can get Xbox covers. The skins, and those yes. are easy to produce. Yes. So while we may not be able to do a collab, I'm sure we could do a print. <laughs> Make our I own collab. Win. We'll give you a sticker. Chuck it on. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be an Xbox sticker. It'll just be a sticker. <laughs> there you I, go. It's solved. <laughs> Girls, I have been looking at stickers because I actually have, and I'll, I guess I'll show you because I can. Um, where is it? You know, oh, so, stickers. Okay, so this is actually a side of my, this is a plain side Which of my computer you? panel. It's a panel. Um, because I have, my panel says Doom Cutie on it. Shout out to um, Allied Gaming who sent That's me so out cute. that and had it printed on there. And you can have anything printed on there. Um, but I have been collecting stickers. Hold on, you can't really. Oh, so I'm going to have to like... give you one of mine. Oh, my gosh. And I'm going to give you one of mine. Yeah. Well, sorry, if, if, any, if, any, if anyone wants to add, please do. Yes. Um, who's Shay, on I'm now? giving you one of my stickers too. Of course. I would expect nothing less. And you will receive one of mine. 
All as well. <laughs> sticker exchange. Yes. We love stickers. Um, what? What gave I've, that away? And I've got this one's actually, this is from Qualbert, and this is, hold on if I can pick it off because I've got, he has a magnet. This is so thin. What? That's so oh. cool. How thin that is. And that looks, it looks like a sticker. Like it looks, hold on. Shoot, are we going to have to like upgrade our, our vibe? You know, we were going Look, stickers. Looks, are we thinking too small? Look, I think the magnet go. is a good idea because, like, it doesn't look any different to the mm -hmm. other stickers. Um, but I've also got um, so the lovely Logan. Um, his his partner is amazing, um, and she yes. designed um, some Starfield stickers and Starfield assets for his stream, and he got them printed out and gave me oh, a sticker at the Starfield uh, launch event in Sydney last year. So those are on my computer. So yes, stickers. We love stickers. Um, we have a um and custom case. And just all down the side of it is just stickers we've gotten from every convention from all the creators. Oh, so, like, cool. guys, if you ever give us stickers, please understand, yes, we promise they're not just chucked out. We use them. They actually go on the side of one them. of our bookcases. I love stickers. I have all of mine on my sewing machine because I used oh, to. Oh, that's so cute. Use, I used to be quite the avid sewer like about a year ago. Mm. Um, and uh, that they just all go there. And, I mean, we've spoken about merch before, haven't we, here on Coag? We were talking about last season mm. contraceptive even. So <laughs> we are open to everything. We are open to you Oh, no, we, we spoke about Gamer we'll Cheese. For you. Yeah, that was that was an adventure. Um, I think we should too. just do get normal cheese and put our, like, brand on it. I think that would be the Col better approach. Oh, Colby Colby yeah. is the best cheese. So if we could get, like, a Colby variation, mm. I would be down. And you get little Anything snack ones, right? Yes, so you can like just pick it up while you're gaming. There you go. We don't worry. We're thinking about gamer, you, gamer snack pack. Gamer Colby, snack if you're pack. out there, dude. I'm not going to lie. A gamer snack pack would be cheese, some chippies, a little bit of Mountain Dew, and maybe a chalky. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe like a chalky <laughs> or a chalky. <laughs> Chockies. <laughs> you know, you're saying with the Australian yes. accent, you know, chalky. A bit chalky. I'm yeah. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. You've you've ruined <laughs> my life. I have so so eats now. I I'm usually eating at this time. Um. Mm. So this whole change is has really thrown me off, ladies. So can we refrain from the <laughs> the cheese <Yeah>. talk? <laughs> <laughs> no, the time was wild. I was so confused. I was like, am I am I misunderstanding? Am I stuffing this up? Am I going to be late? Because uh, usually, like, I get home from, like, Masters and whatever. I shove my food in my face. I take, like, half an hour to sit down to just try and chillax and, you know, forget that I have work tomorrow or that I work at all. Um, and then and then I come on and I'm all fresh and annoying and it's lovely. Um, and then it's, like, two hours and I'm like, two, two – what? What? I know. Uh, I sat Why do I have additional food. time? <laughs> That, that's how my lights got up. I was sitting here and I was like, I should probably put those lights up. Oh, you actually got a, t a chance to sit down for two seconds for a change and you're like, all right. I did. Thing. I did. Good activity. Huh. Obsessed. Mm. Love that. Um, <laughs> Shay, we actually had a little bit of an educator um, vibe. Um <laughs> Today, um, we we're talking about the latest release of from Minecraft. Dude, I was really impressed. Okay, I sent it to you because I got super excited. I'm like, I know Doom's already seen this. Like, I know she's seen it, but yes. I'm gonna send it anyway because I thought it was fucking cool. So NASA is using Fortnite and Minecraft to teach about today's solar eclipse. Now, of course, uh, this was for America. They had their solar eclipse like what was it Monday? Or was it? Sunday? They had one of those days. I don't know. America's weird. They function differently. They're back in time. We don't understand. Um, but the fact that NASA is now understanding the popularity of these games, the impact of these games, and the reach. Like, you can you can teehee all you like, but realistically, if you can get kids understanding more about the world around them and the universe around them, and it, it doesn't matter how, and if it's going to be through a game they're going to be playing anyway go for it. I'm so pleased. And I just thought that was so fantastic. It's, it's another aspect of what you do, Doom, um, like in your classroom. And I was like, oh my god, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Can I now use Minecraft, please, to teach in uni? I, I will <laughs> probably vomit, um, but my students will think it's funny anyway, so it's okay. And they'll probably hand me a change bit. perspectives. Oh, I know. I know. Trust me. I used to force my way through Minecraft. I used to have Minecraft Mondays on stream, despite oh. the fact that I did need to vomit. Um, because I really right. like the game. I really, it's <laughs> it's a fucking, it's fantastic. The level of creativity, the emergent gameplay, the mod community is insane. Oh. Um, 
so I have such an appreciation for these ugly cubes, uh, but they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like me and they assault Aww. me. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> you know what? We like you. We'll we'll turn ourselves into Minecraft figures and we'll give you. But hugs, you're not I ugly promise. cubes. Oh. Actually, I did. I did have a custom Minecraft character as well that looked like me. There you go. Of, co of course, you did. My followers made go. it for me. Oh, they really liked Minecraft. Shay, and I really liked it. So we were building cute. a little village in game. It was a little Tudor <laughs> village, and we all worked together and made this gorgeous little village. And I was like, I want to keep playing, but also, please help me. My head is so sore, and I don't know where up is. <laughs> <laughs> Which way is that? I have to um, hold the ground. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> this this collaboration was actually part of the National Esports Association uh, in mm -hmm. America, uh, not here in Australia. And basically it was for schools, for anyone in school, um, on April 8th, 2024, um, and they were trying to explain and kind of push the idea that this wasn't just a celestial event. Like this was mm. this was an opportunity for learning and for children to engage with the science curriculum and understanding like, you know, celestial events are incredible and, you Please know. Please don't look at them directly. Yeah, don't, don't do that. There, there was a link to order um, glasses. <laughs> cool. Just casually in case anyone's not sure about that. Well, you know, like uh, you can create like a little viewing kind of. Uh, oh yeah, and I think that's so thing. cool, right? I see a lot of um, amazing tutorials that come out around the time that eclipses are coming for Australia and other countries, and it's like, hey guys, don't forget you can't look at it, but here's how you do the cool mirror thing so that you can look together, and mm -hmm. that is so cool to see children going, oh, awesome, I want to do that, and their parents getting into it with them or the kids yeah. getting into it together, like I. That's that's the bit of childhood that is good. Oh, it, it so is. Um, so, yeah, shout out to um, the um, uh, National Esports Association in America mm. for, you know, collaborating with NASA. Like, that's that's an incredible thing. Um, and, yeah, definitely getting them to, to look up, so looking up from their phones um, mm. and becoming interested in science mm. and uh, space science in particular. But doing it in a way as well that doesn't necessarily put down gaming because I noticed that a lot of... No. Uh, a lot of people who aren't gamers um, think it's one or the other. You know, you've got, you have to put gaming down to get children to be interested in other stuff. And it's like, actually, no, you can have both. You can have children that are wonderfully intelligent, study beautifully, get, you know, great grades, but mm -hmm. games, that's okay. And, again, it just yeah. ties back to what you do in the classroom. Yeah. And I've actually had times where, you know, particularly for girls as well, Mm. Uh, they're they're very studious. They're yeah. very um, polite. They 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 know what you're talking about. They know how to answer questions. They're they're very quick with their work. But when you put them into an environment and to apply the knowledge that you know that they they have, and when yeah. they have to use it in a different context, like that is the real challenge, and that is the extension for them. And it's then for because... other kids, it becomes like oh. I know how to use Minecraft. I can do this. Easy. Done. So those who didn't get it in the written form, all good. Don't worry. We've got a practical. And those who are very sure of their practical but might be lacking that confidence in their applied skills, they get that mm. as well. That's actually something we find in uni just as much, uh, and it's something I've looked into. But women, um, and this could be culturally, socially, whatever, there's a lot of factors that are involved in this, but women are always more unsure of their level of skill. So you can have women yeah. who are just astonishing um, at whatever particular thing they do but if they are put against a man or even just other people as a whole they'll usually undervalue themselves um, mm. it's it's this really unfortunate thing you see it a lot in job applications you see it a lot in teamwork when it comes to creatives and stuff like that you see, I do it I'm an academic uh, I'm on my mm. fourth degree I've done my I've done lecturing for seven years now but if you asked me if I was competent I can't confidently you look at you. Go so, to the holes. Yeah. yeah. yeah we just I'm make ourselves smaller and it's sad mm. when we don't need to. We just we just don't want to take up space. I I Absolutely. found 
I was doing the same thing funnily enough when I was on the train the other day and then I got off the train and there's the, at my station, there's like an escalator or stairs. And I was taking the escalator um, because I was in a rush and I was like, you know what? I have to stand like really far to the side because I get the train very early and there's a lot of tradies. Mm. And I'm like, I have (laughs) to stand with all my bags really close to the side. Like I don't want to get in the way. And it Mm. kind of like dawned on me with that thought then turned into the same thought of like, why am I physically now trying to make myself smaller for yep. blokes mm. I don't even know? And just because they've got lunch packs, I've got a backpack and I've got a lunch bag and I've got like a drink bottle with me. I'm allowed to take up, like not saying I should stand in the middle of the aisle, but no, I was purposely but... like squishing myself and my bags. So these and imaginary men can yourself sing... in the meantime well, yeah. because like that shit's heavy. Yeah, like who knows if anyone actually was going to pass me, but I was like tr- physically in with the thought of knowing that, there was men behind me and I was like you know what I don't actually have to do this and I kind of relaxed and let my Mm. bags flop Mm. because you can turn to the side if someone's got bags turn to the side like that's what I would do Mm. but I was making these accommodations for these these imaginary situations but just because I saw you know blokes and I think that 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 extends into our work lives our social lives like it extends to so many areas of our lives and it's sad that we're physically and mentally and socially allowed to take up space Mm. yeah it happens a lot but no i love seeing that we have ways of addressing that for the next generation um because our generation is the one that became aware but didn't necessarily know how to fix it because obviously the generation before ours and many of those are still kind of stuck in the old ways the generation after ours though oh my god they're beautiful they take no shit (laughs) i love it so much it's not perfect and there's always ways to go but like Oh, boy, I admire them so much. <laughs> yes, I try and admire my children. Um, well, I feel like they're they are incredibly, yeah, they're, and, they're incredibly themselves, unapologetic, <laughs> unapologetically, you know, uh, but good, I, I, good. I dig it. Um, mm. I really, really do. Um, <laughs> but they, they surprise me. They surprise me every mm. day. And your um, children are two girls, so you're going oh, yeah. to see – you're going to maybe see some of these habits kick in without you necessarily teaching them. The, the world's a uh, mysterious and um, uh, apparently ratchet place. So <laughs> I look forward to uh, to all the incredible uh, stories and, you know, reminding them that they don't have to start a war because of every um, everything that they But also they, they can if they want to. Yes, so they can. If someone starts something, you, you finish it. Yeah, but I'm not paying for that. <laughs> that's okay i'll back them up we've already had a discussion with your girls about bilbies and their armor and yeah we that's really fine did. i'm quite we happy really to continue to back them up they will know me as the strange lady that you do the podcast with yeah so i'll be the cool aunt it's i got you it's fine <laughs> thank you okay. um speaking of cool something not cool uh came across uh my social media feed um and also in my inbox, I don't know if oh. any of you got this, but um, Twitch actually released a survey for oh. their users uh, and it included this question. I often follow streamers' recommendations for over-the-counter medicine and healthcare products. Strongly disagree, somewhat disagree, neither agree nor disagree, Somewhat agree, strongly agree. What the heck? Wow, yeah. okay. Now, I just wanted what? to get everyone's thoughts about that. We are not doctors. Oh, boy. That <laughs> just, I mean, doctors at times can be dodgy enough. Don't take advice from randos. We can give you advice on our experiences. Um, and any, you know, issues that we have, may have encountered so you can keep an eye out for them. But that's it. We're not doctors mm. and we don't know you. <laughs> well, oh, boy. It. And I, I think, though, it is if I take it from the, the lens of maybe they're saying how many streamers are talking about this sort of stuff, how many people are listening and do we need to crack down on it because you, mm. I think there's no Gosh. issues. Obviously, stream is quite a social place. Um, it's a bit of a mm. hive mind at times. There's no issue discussing your day-to-day life. 
whether mm. that includes medications or not. And maybe you do want to say, I have severe hay fever. I would love to know I use this product. I would love to know if there's any other suggestions of products, that sort of thing. But if there's like rumors or issues or ideas of people going around and talking about medications, that is dangerous because it's yes. kind of like the TikTok mentality as well of like, someone said something here and I'm going to run with it. It was like the the sleeping pill that went viral lately, the mm. Kardashian sleeping pill that went viral mm. because one woman said, I will never go to anything else again and raved about it. Yeah. See, the same trouble with this same well. concept. Like, wise. Say, say it worked for her beautifully and awesome. I'm, I'm so glad that she's found a solution. That doesn't mean it works for everybody. In fact, it doesn't mean mm. it's necessarily even what you need. So I, I do talk about the fact that I need medication uh, on stream. In fact, sometimes I have to take my medication on stream. I do not name my medication. I will say mm. what it's for. So I, I take yeah. medication for ADHD, but there's a variety that you can take. And, oh, boy, will I not be recommending you a damn thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> you will go no. to a proper doctor and you will go to the, what is it, psychiatrist? It's, I always mix up the mm -hmm. ones that arrive. Yeah, psychiatrist can write the scripts. Yeah. Psychologist just tells you it's okay. Oh, yes. I need definitely <laughs> scripts. Um, go to them. I'm not them, okay? They studied for a really yeah. long time to be able to tell you that you're fucked up. Ooh. I can tell you it from a, a surface level, but I cannot give you body-altering medication yeah. To do anything about it. <laughs> Look, Thank I you. I will say there has been quite an uproar in, in the streaming community about this. Mm -hmm. And I think, look, Ellie, you've played devil's advocate. You're like, okay, like maybe <laughs> they just want to see like how many people talk about medication on their stream. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that, you know, America really is still in their infomercial age. Mm, they're like quite infomercial medication, aren't they? Well, yeah, so like the ads on television, like I think Australia is a lot more strict on when those can happen and whether or not they can happen at all. Like I think I've seen, I've seen hay fever medication on TV, and I've seen yeah. like, um, uh, cold I don't know, flu. like in, in yeah, cold and flu, and like yeah. uh, incontinence products. <laughs> so, really? oh. oh, just like you know, adult nappies. But, oh um, no, no, absolutely. Like I. I haven't watched TV in a very long time. Yeah, yeah I, I don't really watch I ever it. saw was like, you know, winter, cold and flu meds. Um, yeah. Which have, I'm not going to lie. Have you had your flu shot? Oh, flu shot as well. But that I was like, yeah, yeah fair enough. I actually mm. didn't know about cold and flu meds um, until 2017. I go. did not know there they were a thing. I did not live. I, I, I was not in an upbringing where we had access to the doctor. Or mm. anything when we were sick. Oh my god, that's such a cute cat. Um, so I didn't know that they were real. I I was like, you have this magic pill that just makes you feel better, and people were like, well, no, not entirely better, but you know, it'll help your symptoms. And then I started seeing ads popping up everywhere, and I was like, oh my god, these are real. Wow. What the hell? I've, I've not used them because I just can't, I don't even really use painkillers much either. I just don't really personally use a lot of medication. So I'm I mean mm. I'm the same as you, Shay. I, I wouldn't really have known that they existed i don't even know what they did um i used to pose something to do with your mucus maybe help oh your um it actually like when you're proper bad so I, I was over in germany and i was getting to the point where i was going to need to be hospitalized um turns mm. out when you're in other countries and you catch their version of the cold or flu it hits you like a truck um, oh my gosh i got sick in germany know. what is wrong with germany <laughs> i think well germany was actually pretty chill but i was i was sad i think i got it in bloody paris sketchy gets mm. Um, but no, like I, I couldn't breathe properly. There was no chance I was breathing through my nose in any way, shape or form. My entire face felt like it was going to explode and everything yeah, was just like sinuses. coming closer and going away at the same time. You, I can't explain that better, but I think you know what I mean when you're sick. And then yeah. someone's like, why didn't you just take some cold and flu? And I'm like, take what? I'm sorry. And they're like, here. And it was my best friend. So I was like okay, whatever, and I took it to humour her because I thought it wasn't going to do anything. And then, oh, my God, I could breathe, and things hurt a little bit less, and the world was doing less of this. Oh, for those mm. who are only hearing. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, like, I suppose those ads in a way for the everyday stuff can be helpful, but also, like, I still don't think I'd be taking that advice from a streamer or a yeah. YouTuber or a podcaster unless, like, I know they're actually a doctor. But even then I'd be going and talking to someone who actually knows me and can take a look at what I'm dealing with. 
Yeah. But there's and people I think... who don't do that and or can't be bothered or um unfortunately can't afford to go and chat to someone who's a professional the and they yeah, absolutely understand. Yeah, I understand when it's a, a, an affording thing, but sometimes people just don't want to do their own research or don't want to look into it or just see that that and they're like I'm going to do it anyway. Um mm. it's this, it was the boom with all the skinny teas and detox teas and that sort of thing. Mm. It's just fueled on misinformation <laughs> and it's and it's really sad in my opinion because health is v- of course, very, very important. It's something that mm. we we actually push to the side because we nev- we feel never sick enough to take off time that we need to heal. And even and when so, you are sick, you're like, oh, but it could be worse. The guilt, the guilt wraps yes. you in. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I see a shift of that after the pandemic. Obviously, we all appreciate <laughs> not being around sick people. Yes. Um, but it's there's still that kind of work ethic of being like you can go to school, you can go to work, you can go to that event. Like, are you really that sick? Um, and so that all kind of stems back to just not doing your own research, not looking mm. into it. And it is, and also with the lower socioeconomic, it is really hard to just kind of jump into that sort of thing um, yeah. and go with the masses, which isn't always the healthy thing vitamins are one thing but like even over the counter prescription like you just don't mess even with vitamins it. right there are some things that can actually interfere mm. with um like prescribed medications you have to yeah. genuinely be yeah. quite careful with what vitamins you're taking and um, you can overdose know, and the quality that. of it like yes yeah. and you have to actually check what's in stuff. it yeah yeah because it's what it says on well. the label isn't necessarily everything that's in it and just because it says something on the label doesn't mean that's the focused uh, ingredient or the main ingredient or anything like that. The way that it metabolizes in your body yes. uh, can be incredibly different to what's listed on the label. And mm. you know, it's a thank you for mentioning vitamins because mm. some some pharmacies in Australia, at least, I'm not sure about anywhere else, but mm. they will put some vitamins behind the counter because yes. they do want to talk to people before they start giving them out. Because um, yeah, they can they they can uh mess up people who are taking like heart medication medications to do with their thyroid like a a vast array of conditions and vitamin um, c can mess up your adhd meds it stops it absorbing i didn't even 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 drinking um bloody uh, orange juice orange juice yeah lucky i hate that stuff but you know if i didn't (laughs) i'd be pretty sad (laughs) yeah but like these okay you have to understand the health just the vitamin industry is worth a hundred mm. billion dollars. Mm. If they can get some streamer, yeah, and like no offense to anyone who is affiliated with like any of the uh the drink companies. Oh, like G yeah. Fuel and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I didn't want to call any names out. Thank you, Shay. Sorry, um, but as an example, there's plenty <laughs> of energy doohickeys out yeah. there. I I personally yeah. Again, that is kind of like the, I feel like the entry mm. for health products in stream. Yes. And next minute we're talking about like gaming gummies, like, the, you know, this will mm-hmm. help you focus, this will help you stay up, this will, you know, um, mm. whatever yeah. it might be. Um, and I just, it makes me worried about where people are getting the information from. And I think, like, I'd feel I just, better about it. I don't it. support this. I don't, no, I don't absolutely support. not. But I think for, like, the gaming juice, I would support that if there was an honest little disclaimer saying, hey, I'm giving you my experience, but I'm going to highly recommend you check this out for yourself. Like, go and read into it before you decide to buy anything. Yeah. Like, I like it, and I would recommend it because it was positive for me, but you need to understand your body, your needs, yeah. and you need to research. Just like if I was to... Um, like recommend like a any like an energy drink you'll find in Woolies or whatever. Oh, a yeah. supermarket. Some people genuinely can't and absolutely should not be drinking those. Most people shouldn't be drinking those, but you know, some people are more susceptible to the side effects. You're not my mum, Shay. <laughs> you I, would can't tell me what to do. I would be really concerned <laughs> at the age gap, to be honest. I, I don't know how that would work. I can give well, you some like, people... guiding advice though. <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't have that moral compass, though. Like a bag is bag. Yeah. Like they're gonna take yep. that money. Bag and run. is like, bag. That's the trouble, Me though, right? Like I can as... understand that mentality too. Like life's oh, hard. I know. I can, so I can, but I like I can to a certain extent. But like I've never been put in that position where 
well, technically, I guess I have because as my Instagram's been growing and I've been making more gaming content, I have been approached by these these gamer energy companies. And for anyone that doesn't know, essentially, it's just um, an energy drink, much like. Mm. Red Just Bull caffeine. and Monster and yeah, but it's meant to be jitterless. It's almost like a pre workout, like for the gym, but like yeah, j- jittery, jittery. I was gonna say pre workout makes me so jittery. I get like tingly <laughs> fingertips. It's wild, right? Yeah. And so it's just meant to be like it's meant to be better for you and things, but. Ethically and morally, I could not try a product out, especially energy stuff, because I just don't believe in overuse of that. I mean, that that's something I have once in a really blue moon. Mm-hmm. Um, and so for me to then say, like, this is a brand I stand behind, I just can't get behind it. So I picked to not do that and I picked it. I chose to not represent this brand, which oh. is quite mm-hmm. a big deal when you're coming up. Uh, in the mm. social space and you want to be taken more seriously uh, because morally just didn't it didn't suit me but having that said can that be I- really hard for you too Ellie because like the moral choices are never rewarded and that sounds horrible to say no, exactly yeah, right. no you're right it's just it's the yeah, correct it's just thing to do not, but it's yeah. hard it's just knowing that it's what's correct because mm. I don't get money from that. I don't get support from that. I don't get a brand backing me, posting my content. You know, I don't expand my reach from that. It's mm-hmm. me protecting my image and my um, social part on Instagram, knowing that there is ways that these products can hurt people. It can hurt children that are also mm. on the app. Um, they don't really have rational thinking like adults do. Uh, and there's also people that just don't care about uh, their body and their health and they'll just smash that sort of thing to game more. Um, and there has been stories of people dying by yeah. by gaming for hours. There was one, what, six months to a year ago. Oh, there's uh, been more man, recent ones too, yeah. Mm. Well, the one that stuck with me was the man that was in um, – a country I won't name in case I get it wrong, but an internet cafe, and he was there for three days. Three yep. days. And, again, money. He was putting money in their pocket so they didn't really say anything until the dude collapsed because he got a blood clot uh, in his leg and then it went to his brain and he died. Um, mm-hmm. And he was mm-hmm. on those sorts of products. And who sa- who knows if the products contributed to the blood clot? I'm yeah. pretty sure it was because he was seated for three days. But mm. you just don't know how people's bodies are going to interact interact with stuff and like we said there is a moral issue with with promoting products like that but who knows like if we if I turn around on my stream next week and say hey have bananas they're fantastic someone goes and has banana they're allergic and they (laughs) end up in hospital (laughs) am I also liable to that where does the Mm -hmm. liability start and end for people that are promoting something that you consume uh, on the internet and or Twitch. Mm-hmm. I think if you I think the line is where you're profiting from that recommendation. So I don't know what the cut was that you got, mm. uh, what, 10% or whatever. Mm. Um, you know, like uh, Confessions of a Gamer Girl are uh, affiliated with Quokka Mouse Pads and we get, we get uh, 15% of the sale, but you get 15% off as well. So, um, yeah, we, we we have that. But I don't think anyone's been killed or hurt by a mouse pad yet. Um, I can try. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't worry. I've got some people lined up. You say the word, I'll give it a go. <laughs> Worst case but, scenario, um, they go, what are you doing? I go, oh, sorry, it slipped. <laughs> you could put it on, like, Oh, no, but mouse pads are grippy. I was going to say we could, like, trip over it. That what if happen. we put it the other side down, right? So the grippy side goes yeah. up so it stays on your foot, but the slidey bit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling it. Oh, Look, oh. If yeah. anyone knocking my camera wonder- off. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a sketchy move and knocking your camera off. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can use um, Gamer Girl or one word. It will get you 15% off your uh, purchase at Quokka Mouse Pads. Uh, and QB, the owner, is... Yeah, they're fa- machine washable, guys. Gentle that blew cycle. my mind. Um, and I let me tell telling you, people, ice great. cream on the desk mat, be gone. And I will yeah. say I didn't know that was a thing until PAX and then they mentioned it. Uh, and I've been mind blown uh, ever since. And that to me means the world. And I will say now morally that I can say fantastic. I'm touching it right now. Fantastic little <laughs> little mouse pad so i highly recommend protect the desk i'm sorry but like yes so scratched up um and desks yeah. are expensive to replace your, de- your desk mat though 
hopefully, mm. not crazy expensive to replace. And honestly, mm. it looks cute. And you're probably not going to make your desk, you're not going to draw on it, you're not going to make it look that cute. And what if your taste change or you got a new favorite game or whatever? Exactly. You know, we don't, we don't Speaking stay the my same. language. Yeah. Speaking my language. Um, but thank you all for your uh, thoughts on that. I know it's a little bit of a spicy topic, but um, yeah, for anyone who's listening out there, I don't think any amount of money is worth risking your integrity as a gaming content creator as a streamer mm. um yeah i honestly you, it's a dangerous line to be walking and um you know it's one thing to you know promote a mouse pad it's a completely different thing if you're promoting some random medicine mm. um and and they're giving you a, a slice of that pie of that profit so um so, yeah, uh, we've had a fantastic episode, a lot of uh, interesting uh, chats today. Uh, love to see everyone coming out and supporting Confessions of a Gamer Girl. Um, we've got a couple of weeks until uh, DreamHack, which is very exciting. Um, unfortunately, I do have to let everyone know that Ellie will be busy on the day that we do our podcast. I am very sad. Yeah, I'm I'm devastated um, considering it was out of my control. Yes, uh, it I was. had the whole the weekend planned and it kind of got mm -hmm. swept from underneath me, so I am quite devastated. Um considering I will literally be in the same city but um can't attend. So I do apologize to uh, everyone that wanted to see the three of us united. What if you're like maybe sick on that day? And you can't do anything else, but I maybe I can't do that, Love Heart. You get that one. Um, you know, just <laughs> but I I will just take you to Dreamhack in a hazmat in suit. Is yeah, exactly. In... I think I might be itching. I tell you, I'm red. allergic. Ellie, you are and, a little red. Mm. And I've had some over the counter medication I maybe shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, recommended by a streamer? Did you pair it with your gamer juice? You know? Yeah. That, that I was just down. Yeah. And then that, I had some mm. baked beans and I don't know. It's all just. Do I need to poo? Not going well, do, I don't maybe. Know. <laughs> I know. I don't think I the can't. Working. That's part of my symptoms. <laughs> I need to, but I cannot. Look, I just haven't pooed, and I can't concentrate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go in and give him the peak descriptor. I'm a bear after winter. Okay, it's a struggle, and I need you to understand. I'm fluffy and fat, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Rawr. <Hey. laughs> Rawr. Rawr. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> all right <laughs> speaking of not knowing what to do um that that brings us to the the crescendo the end of uh confessions of a gamer girl podcast episode eight uh shay let everyone know what you're going to be doing this week where they can find you uh what kind of gremlin activity you'll be up to this week oh boy all right well <laughs> gosh this week this week oh boy everything's starting to heat up at work so i'm getting smashed with marking and it's just great but guys i'm on tomorrow night it's going to be a good time um now what am i going to be playing right what am i going to be playing now this is a tough toss-up because i'm currently in that era of streaming where i'm like do i keep playing league of legos and clawing my way out of the absolute wood tier that i'm in or do i go play the cheeky uh cheeky magic game where i can i can name things after my followers and then watch them die um it's a tough decision truly Mind over magic. Love it. Wow. Um, but no, this week it's going to be streaming. It's going to be me continuing to try and get my new uh, shirts up and everything like that. It turns oh. out life is busy and They're things don't go shirts. on time. Great. Yeah. Strange world to tire. My cheeky little business. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a really, really good time. And then, of course, we only have next week. And the week after that, it's it's DreamHack. It's going to be so ridiculously cool. Um Gosh, no, really, it's going to be normal schedule. Until then, I'm going to try and keep it really consistent because I know that I'm going to miss um, a couple of streams while I'm at DreamHack. So, guys, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to make these uh, next two weeks as fun-filled as possible so you can forgive me when I'm not there on that particular week. Heck Maybe yeah. you might get the opportunity to go to a streaming booth. Well, actually, now that you mention it, and I remember because, oh, boy, I am at a streaming booth, actually, guys, on <gasps> Sunday from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. on Dr at DreamHack, I will oh be streaming God. live from the convention. I'm going to get oh your God. autograph on a cocker oh. mouse pad with your face. Oh, oh please. Oh. I, was, I, I will give you I'll draw <laughs> a little kitty cat face. I've got you. Don't worry. 
<laughs> I'm so excited. We we got like the go ahead and everything, so I'm so Amazing. pumped about that. Ah, oh, um, love it. I'm excited. So you know, if you guys are gonna be there, please come say hi. Like uh, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be a messy stream, and that's the point. So come say hi, guys. I'm very excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna rope in doom doom's gonna be there trying to be all like girl boss and like you know networking and i'm gonna be like that's really nice anyway come look come look at my stream come look what i do come on doom. Look at my nipples. oh my god oh. <laughs> look i I'll, I'll i'll have to I, I i doubt anyone has ever said no to shay so um if you see a woman kicking and screaming and a a smaller blonde woman pulling me along um yeah that's shay Oh boy! Okay. Yeah. Teeny tiny put you in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you so much, Shay. As always, you're an absolute delight. Ellie, what are you up to other than absolutely nailing, uh, living your best life, working, being a mum, um, being mm. being a cutie on Instagram? Please, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, we've actually been having some fun discussions over on Instagram. My most recent reel, I discussed um, what game do you think that uh, every gamer should play? Because I think mm -hmm. that that's quite a special question because it's not necessarily your favourite ever game. Um, mm -hmm. It's more just like this is a game that you have to play here. And I got, uh, I ended up getting about like, oh, 40, 50 comments about people suggesting games. And to be fair, there was only three to four that actually had the same game so oh, so many people have cool. so many games and I spent so long googling what uh these games look like because a lot of them majority of them were classics like classic classics mm. um going back in the day so that that was a really cool discussion because I opened my eyes up to so many cool games that I want to look into in the future um yeah so I'm just going to be continuing that vibe I'm obviously going to be mailing you my stickers because look at that oh <coughs> both of you get my stickers <coughs> Yeah, can, we, you have just, have can we just steal you on the Friday of Dreamhack, and we'll just steal your stickers? I think we could just do the podcast from our work. Like it's just oh, an hour. we'll just rock up. I'll kick a door yeah. down. Don't put it past I mean, me. It's I yeah, it. it's only a few buildings away, but because it's just like the timing. But I might be popping lunch by break? on Friday. It's well, I only get like a second for my lunch break because I thought that too. But just mm, say I you're pumping, Friday. like yes, really uncomfortable about breath. <laughs> say anything feminine. I've got my period. I'm pumping. I feel emotional. And I'm dyeing my hair. Ooh. Different colours. And I'm dyeing my, dyeing my nails. nails. <laughs> yes. Anything like yeah. that. And they're like, oh, sorry, it's fine. You do you. Yeah, mm. well, that's it. That's it. And I'm, I'm hoping that um, I'll find time to stream, but it'll be my normal streaming room. It won't be in a cool dream hack streaming room with a million distractions, actually. So I'll <laughs> well, be I'm tuning in. Right. I'll have to tune in sneakily. to. What if we get a other... cardboard, like, cut out of you and we just – and then technically you were there the whole time. But the two of you have to carry it because I'm very tall. So you'll that's have okay. to carry it like yeah, a ladder. We will. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. I got yeah. door. We got you. And then yeah. you've got to autograph like somewhere on that because mm -hmm. I need autographs too. Can do. I'll wear a white shirt. My <gasps> the routine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only my favorite sweater ever. You can we'll get all the stickers, all the autographs. It'll be so good. Be like, hey, Ellie can't be here, but, you know, could you please sign her T-shirt or give her a sticker? Oh, yeah. Oh, I want stickers. I love stickers <laughs> anyway. But that's me. What about you, Doom? <laughs> um, well, I'm preparing for school to go back next week. Um, mm -hmm. But in the mornings, I've been um, – I've been co co coaching and refereeing my daughters playing Lego Harry Potter. Now, Lego Harry Potter is a fantastic game. Lego mm -hmm. games, iconic. We love them. Mm -hmm. We love Lego. But the amount of chaos that happens between these girls, right? So mm -hmm. my oldest is very like, this is the rules, like this is what we're doing. And sometimes mm -hmm. she's a little bit chaotic when she finds something cool and she wants to have fun. Mm -hmm. The younger one is just like party all the time. Um, and she will literally, like, I think this morning the argument was about, like, so I think, because you know how you can hit each other with the wands, like a little bit of magic? Um, yeah. So my eldest was like, wand fight. And she, like, like fully, fully went against her sister and she made the younger one cry. And oh. I was like, oh, my God. And then I'm like what happened and she's like well she like the big one was like she she hit me with the magic and and then 
the big one was like, yeah, and then I just hit her back. And then <laughs> and then the little one was like, you said magic war. So then we had a magic war and then you just kept hitting me. That's what a war is. There was no I'm truce like, called. No white flags. So oh, only between, <laughs> between preventing them strangling each other, kind of like, you know, Homer Simpson and, mm-hmm. and Bart, um, I, I, I get the, Mom, do this. Can you help me? And I'm like, do you mean do it for you? Because, like, obviously there's puzzles in there. Like, mm. come on. Mm. Uh, that's, that's the good thing about it. That's why it's not just a mind-numbing game. Mm. And, yeah, so, so that's been fun. So I'm doing that. I'm, you know, I'm planning for school, trying to make that really, really fun. Had a few tech issues, had a few of the um, newer teachers say to me, why don't we have iPads? I need iPads. I want to use this software and this software. And I'm like, I'm working on it. So, yeah. Do you buy the iPads personally? No, no. Um, okay, oh. so at, at schools we, we, we rent them uh, okay. from from the department. Um, mm-hmm. and But the department doesn't have any Apple support. Oh. So that can be a bit of an issue. And the iPads that we have currently are the, tw- I think they're 12 pin chargers. They're not lightning chargers. Um, oh, old school ones. Yeah, they don't, uh, yep. they don't update. Um, you can't put, you can't even email a picture from the iPad to, to the computer. So, so it's they're like, basically just a rock. Yeah, you have a decorative a brick. Oh, yes. Paperweight. Um, Bless them. But mm. Yeah. So we can't, we can't use any of the cool educational apps. Uh, so yeah, I, um, I've, I've been I've been dealing with that, Whew. but anyway, I I digress on that front um, because because yeah I'm I'm kind of tired and mm. and a little bit hungry. Um, <laughs> yeah, would I we have, uh, would we have yeah. a cheeky link for the chat? We we do we have we have a cheeky link for Quokka mouse pads. Um, I'll I'll say it again. Uh, you can use the code um, gamer girl, all one word, for fifteen percent off. Um, there's yeah, also yeah. when you when you go on to the they didn't used to have this before, but they have like a spin to win. So yeah, if if I guess if that code is more, feel free to use it. I I don't really uh, mind. I think we've earned six dollars in total from our Oof, look affiliate. at us go. Hey, big yeah. spender. Look, we're just raking it in around here. Uh, but obviously, thank you so much to the chat. Thank you to everyone who's listening at home. And we will see you next week for a, another episode of Confessions of a Gamer Girl podcast. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>